Okay, so welcome everyone to the third day of React JS workshop. Today we're going to refactor our to-do list code into different components. So let's uh, figure out first what components can we make in this app. So first of all, I see there's a form comp uh, form uh, uh, tag which can be in itself a different component, and our to-do list the place where our to-do list is being rendered. Either we, we can do uh, two things over here. Either we can create a single component for the list element, or we can come, uh, we can create a single element for the whole of this, uh, you know, the, the whole of the list. So let's see. Okay, so we're going to make one element for this form and another for the below part of this <coughs> app where the to-dos are being rendered. So let's see, we're going to create a new folder called components. It's not necessary, it's just good practice that you create a separate folder for the components. And we're going to create a new file. Let's say to do form.js. And we're going to use our shortcut as I told you, R-A-F-C-E, enter. We got a boilerplate of a code Let's remove these divs and let's copy paste this form. Here we go. That's done. Now what we need to do, we need to uh, import these uh, these props because set to do, edit ID, handle submit, these are not defined in this file. So we need to import these as a prop. So let's import our uh, component over here to do form. You can see VS code has the feature of auto import. You can see uh, when I'm typing it, it says auto import from this place. So when I, just a sec. So when I press uh, over this, click okay or enter, then you can see it's going to be automatically auto imported. But now it's going to complain that failed to compile because it doesn't have those components over in that file. So we need to send those. Here you go. You can see handle submit to do set to do edit ID. These four props uh, we need to import from this file to that component. So let's say first uh, handle submit. We're going to send handle submit equals handle submit. Here we go. It's going to remove that error. No, okay, we haven't received that yet. Let's just send all of these props first. Handle submit and what was the next one? To do. Equals to do. Second one set to do. Equals set to do. What was the fourth one? at the edit ID. All right, so we have successfully uh, sent these from over here, but there's still, uh, there's an error because we haven't received them over here. So there's there are two ways, as I mentioned, that we can receive them over here, either by typing props and then going on to write props.editid, et cetera, or we can just destructure it by using JavaScript ES6 feature, which is called destructuring. So we can just uh, write two curly braces and receive them, handle submit. If you press uh, CTRL plus space, okay, it's not displaying them. Okay, forget about it. Okay, handle submit and to do and edit ID. And the fourth one is set to do. Let's save this and check. Okay, it's working, I guess. Hello. Yes, it's working fine. Delete as well. Great, we have our first component over here as a to-do form. Let's create our second component for these to-do. Let's give it a name of all to-dos or simply to-dos, to-do list dot JS. Here we go, we're going to remove these dev and copy this whole code. 
over here. Let's save this file and import that component to do list. It should complain again, yeah, because these three are not defined over there. So let's send them from here, these three props, to do's. Handle edit. If anyone is having any confusion, you can stop me right here. Handle delete. So we have sent our props from here. Now we're going to receive them over there. Uh, to do's comma handle edit. Oops, handle delete and handle edit. Let's save this. Okay. So let's see. Learn React. It's working. To do. Learn view. Yes, it's working. Delete. Delete is working as well. So you uh, see, we have uh, successfully refactored our code into components. Now there's more, uh, there are uh, other ways you can refactor it even more. For example, uh, if you're working with multiple components over here, so you can create a list component in itself, or you can create a different uh, component for button. So you don't have to reuse this button again and again. So there are many ways that you can refactor your React apps component. So yeah, that's all. So we're going to push this code to our GitHub again. by typing git add dot. Then we're going to get uh, give a git message for commit. Then we're going to push the changes. There we go. That's all. So we have successfully created our to-do list app. Now, uh, if anyone's having any confusions in React or anything related to React, you can ask me.